Halo, selamat pagi sahabat Demix. Kali ini uh, kita masuk ke dalam acara Demix Talk episode yang selanjutnya. Setelah kemarin-kemarin kita berada di Surabaya, kemudian kita berada di Bali, dan hari ini kita berada di Ubud, juga masih di Bali. Nah, kali ini uh, saya sangat excited untuk uh, berbincang-bincang, um, karena kali ini kita akan ketemu dengan bule ya, ketemu dengan bule. Tapi bule ini, ini udah tinggal di Bali dan sangat mencintai Indonesia dan sangat mencintai Demix dan Demix Nuda. Jadi hari ini kita akan berbicara tentang uh, Nuda, the untold story behind the application process. Um, hari ini di sebelah saya udah kedatangan uh, what I call you ya, Marco. Marco. Yeah. Marco. So how do I call you? Creative contractor or crazy architect? Crazy Marco. Oh, crazy Marco. <laughs> so, good morning, Marco. Hi, nice good to morning. see you. Uh, welcome. So, welcome to our space. Yeah. Welcome to Bali. Uh-huh. And welcome to Ubud. Thank you so much. I love your office because no, it's lovely, uh, yeah. yeah, it's so lovely. It's not uh, too big, but I feel like it's, it's big. It's spacious. No, it's very spacious. And of course, the, I, the camera cannot see, but uh-huh. the space is here. It makes it feel more airy and more bigger than it actually is. Yeah, I remember that uh, I think last um, three months mm. I've been here yes. and then it's just uh, under construction, under construction yeah. but it's now it's very different and then I like <laughs> the vibe and then the ambient is so nice. No worries. Yeah, Thank what you. color are you using? In- so, uh, recommended color that we like to use in general mm-hmm. is winter white, um, mm-hmm. Nuda X1. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like it gives you a little bit of not too too uh, too white mm-hmm. and not too yellow, if I can mm-hmm. say like that. Mm-hmm. So it gives you that contrast of uh, off white. Um, yeah, it works really well. It works really well with spaces like this, mm-hmm. uh, where you have different contrasts of colors and of course wall colors. Um, it gives you where you can add darker colors and lighter colors to it, mm-hmm. and it works really well. Yeah, so, Be- you know, before I met you, I never imagined that. Uh, the Demix Nuda can be applied like this and then give you ambience like very <laughs> cool, cool ambience yeah. like this. But it's, go- it's very different when I met you. So, can you tell me where's, uh, when is the first time you find the Demix Nuda? So, basically, what happened is we were looking, we were like traditional uh, Indonesia, they use uh, normal mm-hmm. uh, cement that is normal with glue and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, we started noticing that it's not working really well mm-hmm. and we had so much issues with cracks and mm-hmm. uh, decoloration and all of this and then just by accident i think i went online and i saw the, oh. the advert online and i contact you guys and yeah and then from there on we did samples and tests and things like this from our side and we started implementing a few crazy crazy yeah. ideas to make it uh, work for us Um, yeah, and then it started like a year, a year and a half ago, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. And uh, we did a good a, a, a villa in um, in in Bali mm-hmm. where we used um, natural grey and winter white X2 mm-hmm. actually yeah. on exterior, the whole house. Yeah. And um, until today, and I think the villa is around a year and a half old. Mm-hmm. Um, it still looks like the day we applied the first day. Yeah, so, it goes with natural. So and that's why, yes, to, and it went with the blacks and the, the grays and the wood finishings on the house and stuff like that. It went really well, and then we implemented some new technology together with this. You so see, we don't have this, is, this guy is very crazy about Nuda, right? <laughs> <laughs> why I'm so crazy? Because actually, in Bali or Indonesia in general, the, the items is not so easy to come by to get uh-huh. products like this. In Europe, I mean, this is quite a common thing. Mm-hmm. Um, Europe, this is called stucco in general. Stucco, yes. Yeah. But so it's they pain, use this. right? Sorry? It's a pain. Yeah, it's a pain mm-hmm. or similar to this, but a little bit different applications. Uh-huh. But it's similar where you have different colors and uh-huh. where you can have different colors and different products as well. Different companies use also this, but it's mm-hmm. not so, how can I say, so easy to get. Um, mm-hmm. There is a lot of companies who does it, but not based in Indonesia. Okay. And the nice thing is that we have now a product in Indonesia mm-hmm. that can be used, that we can that we can get in Indonesia and don't need to import mm. because that's important. And then, of course, the technical parts of this, we can, or like, the, that's why my name is Crazy Marco. <laughs> It's the Crazy because, Marco. <laughs> because I like to test and to do yeah. things with this product yeah. that normally people will not do. Uh-huh. Um, put it on course, put it in swimming pools, mm-hmm. and put it everywhere 
um, that it's actually not to be. I want put. to go that way. Okay, but let's go. Let's keep it. I want to ask more about yourself. <laughs> no so, problem. Let's go there. So uh, you coming from where and then? So your I come company? original. I'm originally South Africa. Uh, been in Dubai for 15 years, mm -hmm. working for White Space Designs mm -hmm. um, in Dubai as a project manager. Uh, built quite uh, spectacular villas mm -hmm. and as well uh, art galleries and stuff mm -hmm. like this with the company. Mm -hmm. And then we came around six years here with personal projects. Mm -hmm. to, six years in Bali. Yeah, six years yeah. in Bali. Mm -hmm. uh, we came here to um, basically start, uh, actually only personal projects. Mm -hmm. We have a small hotel here in Obot and then we go from there and then it just developed to where we are now, where we have our offices mm -hmm. and we design a few projects in, uh, in Bali and we sort of experiment with products mm -hmm. and see what works and what doesn't work. Like uh, our goals is not to import anything and basically use everything locally uh -huh. uh, sourced. Great. Even yeah. everything that you see in our uh -huh. space here is mm -hmm. locally sourced. Okay. Um, this is made in Indonesia. This is all, everything in this office is Indonesian, yeah. if I can say like that. Yeah. So that was the goal because to get super high end in Indonesia, it's quite difficult at the moment, <laughs> especially in, in Bali. Yeah. And I, because the technology is so far behind uh -huh. with certain things. So um, people are shocked when they see, oh, you can do this quality in Bali. And then we say yes. And also it's thanks to a company like Nuda mm -hmm. or Demex that mm -hmm. gives us the ability to create different crazy ideas and things like this. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how we are and this is what we are and this is what yeah. we do. So six years in Indonesia and then you just find Demix Nuda yes. one and a half years ago, yes, right? Yes, that was sad. I remember that time that you keep <laughs> complaining to my one of my team, yes. two of my team because yes. you are too crazy about this product, but <laughs> But they, I think... They're not respond. We, yeah, 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 they're, they're not, not respond. And, yes, then, yes, and then I can hear that. And then, actually, my person, me personally is so, so, so curious. Whose guy is this? <laughs> <laughs> but I think, but because of that, and then yeah. we're also very passionate about our product. And yeah. then we're looking for the, for the guy like you that uh, exploring the product, how to applicate it uh, perfect, uh, in a perfect way. And then finally we meet it. We made it, right? <laughs> that so. is true. There's, there's a lot of people, to be honest, very honest with you, there's a lot of people, contractors and people uh -huh. that's in Bali, that is trying to use the mm -hmm. product, having a hard time yeah, uh, because yeah, they are yeah. struggling. Yeah. But I think we found a sweet spot, like they say mm -hmm. in English, where the product is working for us in mm -hmm. whichever way. And uh, yeah, I mean, like you said, we will get later into the more the details yeah, of the of yeah. the product. So, yeah. And then I don't see any crack in your project using the mixer, right? Yes. That that cannot be done by by any, no, anyone. not by anyone because we have sort of a, a secret. I don't know if it's still a secret, <laughs> but it is a secret. We it's a trade secret if I can call it like that. But yeah, we uh, do magical things uh -huh. with the product that people didn't expect in the beginning. Yeah. We were the first ones who did it as well. We did the test, uh, but the day one when I received the product because we felt like um, in any cement polish or mm -hmm. any more of the product that is uh, applied as a finishing, uh -huh. there's aspects that people forget about, and the aspects is that buildings move. Mm. Buildings never settle. Yeah. Um, it it's will never move. settle. Yeah. It's always moving. And of course, we are in Indonesia, so we are uh, keen to get earthquakes from mm -hmm. time to time, even slight ones, mm -hmm. even heavy ones. And also, let's be honest, the construction year is not so up to standard where you can guarantee that your building will not move. Uh -huh. So then we started implementing um, magical things. Yeah. What do you call it? Secret. Yeah. <laughs> it's a secret. I mean, I believe it's out there already, and I believe it's it's used in Europe and everywhere in the world. We just yeah. sort of took it on and implemented it here, and uh, we just yeah we separate the the main slab from the finishing level. You almost so, open your secret now. Yes, but I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> so basically, what we do is we take if you have your render plaster, we just separate the product from uh -huh. this render plaster. So. What happens is even the, the main structure is moving, the finishing, it stays the way it is. Oh. Um, normally with us, even though I can pull off this whole wall mm -hmm. in one piece. Oh. So yeah. that, that's the difference. So I don't need to, I can make a small hole here and I can pull and we will take off pieces like this. Mm -hmm. So Is it a common method that you do? Um, in Europe, yes, 100%. This is what they do everywhere, but they do it in different ways. Mm -hmm. 
Um, yes, it's a little bit more of an expensive thing mm -hmm. because you add something to something. Yeah, yeah. But to be honest, for long terms and long life, I think it's uh, it's better to do it that way so you don't have cracks and you don't have mess yeah. and you don't have this color. And it helps also with the discoloration of the product because, yeah, water makes the color change. Ah, yeah, of so course. you need to apply one more. Yes, so to we avoid add the yes. contamination of yes. the old substrate, right? So, yes, correct. Yeah. So yeah. that's how we sort of manage it. And so far, in the last one and a half years, actually coming more to two years, mm -hmm. is that we have almost 100% success mm -hmm. rate with the product. Yes, of course, we had our issues. Yes, we had our issues. Yes, we had all the things where we maybe went back and refix mm -hmm. it again and retest mm -hmm. a different style or read this one thing. But, I mean, I think in any, in any situation, if you don't test a product and you just accept what the, the specifications it say, cannot then be work. it cannot be so worked. So, we as the producer, uh, the manufacturer of the product also needs you because you're the one who yes, really understand the, yeah. the detail, the Correct. method, and then the... Yes, so that's what also what we're trying to do is using this product, I don't know, Trasso, everyone knows Trasso, I think it's a very common thing, it's a very old method mm -hmm. of application, yeah. um, and it's trending, it's getting a little bit less famous as it is because of the issues that it creates after a couple of years. Trasso is not the way it was 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. 20 years ago, if you go to Trasso, it will not crack, it will not messy. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, in today's time, of course, there is many hands and many things. I believe a ready mixed thing is better than a hand mixed thing. Mm -hmm. So for, for, for us, uh, when I sell the product or when I talk to our clients, I always say, remember, a factory thing is better than a hand mixed thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, in certain things, a handmade item is better. But when it comes to certain applications like cement the polish, the consistency is always there. Yeah. The color is never going to change. Yeah, the color is yeah. always going to be the color that you accept. Yeah. Yes, of course, with cement, you will always have a wave of a color due to application and water adage and so on and so forth. And also drying times. That's yeah. also a difference. So um, that's, what we, that's what we like to use. Something that comes in a bag that they don't have an issue to applicate and it's easy to communicate with your staff. Because yeah. that's the biggest problem, uh -huh. is application. Yeah. For, and I mixing agree. and way the way it is. I agree. Yes. So because, because of that, I think you very brave to applicate our product, the mix Nuda, on the floor and also in the swimming pool. Yes. Wow, that's very <laughs> fantastic, you know? So we are actually sort of the only people, I, uh -huh. oh, I think so, I, I, please correct uh -huh. me, that takes the, the, the product to the next level mm -hmm. where we implement it in glass pools mm -hmm. where we have a glass base and the round of the pool is uh, Nuda and we use mm -hmm. X1, mm -hmm. not X2. X1. X1. So use X1 yes. in the swimming pool. In the swimming pool as well. Oh. <laughs> you know, everyone asks about that. Yes, so we uh, use X1. I say, I don't know, I'm not sure, but you have to, I will, I will give you a contact of Marco, the crazy Marco, because not everyone can do that. No. Yeah. So we also, there's also different efforts to this. Yeah. We, we like to com 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 mix uh, products, not just Demix, but mm -hmm. with different products mm -hmm. that helps this Demix work the way it works. So ah. we don't just use Demix, we mm -hmm. use a different product to mm -hmm. help this product work. So to help the function. Of yes, the correct. Yeah. So like Especially when, maybe the waterproofing, the, yes, the correct. very high quality yes. waterproofing that so you need to apply for the 100%. Pool, right? So for us, we do a very high end quality waterproofing. Mm -hmm. After that, we do some epoxy mm -hmm. uh, products to help the product bound ah, to the waterproofing. Okay. Okay. So we don't just uh, applicate directly on waterproofing. So, and then there is another layer and another mm -hmm. layer. And then the finishing layer, we mm -hmm. use a different product as well mm -hmm. that works actually super well with the product. So uh, what I noticed with Demix is it's very compatible with other items, mm -hmm. other products that's in the market. If it's from Europe or from Indonesia or whatever, it helps, it can be mixed and it doesn't change color and it doesn't affect chemical wise and all of these things. So it works really well. Mm -hmm. That's why also we doing it on the floor. Hmm. And we do it on big villas on the floors. Oh, it's crazy. Because <laughs> yeah. actually we don't have, we don't recommend it. No, on the of first course, time, your but, specifications. But I know because of you, you know the product so well, you know the characteristic and then how to handle and then how to applicate and then even you have a creative way yes. how to, uh, to make the weakness of the product is becoming more uh, as an as a additional yes, feature. Correct. You, add, you so, make some... So you're combining the technology that we have 
with different, and then with your with craftsmanship my, yes. and then also with you know how to correct to direct the the worker to do that yes. right so that took also a little bit of time and test. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, we failed a few times already. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, we did uh, what's it? The black color. I forgot the name. Uh, the masculine black. Masculine black. Yeah. We did it in a pool a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we used a different product to mm -hmm. cover it with, and it didn't go so well. Uh, we just recently redid it. Did it the way we normally do mm -hmm. now without testing. So all of this is testing, trial and tribulation. I believe if you want to have a success in something that is let's call demix they, especially or nuda yeah. uh, you need to test it and unfortunately you need to spend the money and invest sure, in something sure. that works for you yeah. so that's what we did as a company and at the moment we have really almost never a callback we had never i mean we never get called back mm -hmm. for any cracks or any defects or mm -hmm. any situations and we applied on floors exterior but not x2 x1 exterior uh -huh. with a coating um, we just, yeah, we just do what we do. I mean, I, <laughs> and then we also change the color of the product. Ah, Same. you try to mix it. Yeah. No, we mix the color. <laughs> you mix the color. <laughs> so we also mix our own colors. I uh, think I'm so sorry about that because we are so late to, <laughs> no to accommodate no what problem. color you But you But it's not a problem color. because yeah. we sort of follow the method as trussel, if mm -hmm. we can say like yeah. this. Yeah. Actually, we have a very good consistency of color. Mm -hmm. We don't have a change of color. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it helps a little bit to mix it with a machine. I do 100% mm -hmm. agree with you. But we also, because for my clientele to say to them, I can give you, I can give you uh, X amount of colors mm -hmm. or, or I want it orange or pink or purple or whatever the case may be and uh -huh. I can give it to my client I will still use their mix but I will add the colors to it mm -hmm. um, so that's what that's what we did and we we created the color but, but again if you want consistency you have to ask me no for sure um, <laughs> because but if, I can make any no, no, color you I want yes I know I understand <laughs> but when you mix 10 bags or 5 bags it's just it's just like that but uh -huh. for us as a company we, we don't take we don't mind to take the risk yeah that's the point and what, what uh, Nuda gave us is a base to work from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it gives us the base to create something different. Mm -hmm. So like winter white is for me a fantastic base. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you can change colors, you can do this, you can do that with the product. And of course, when it comes to volume or asking the factory, of course they will mix for us a color that works. So for us, this is definitely um, for me, I mean, I, I can't be more happier than this. Because yeah. I don't like Russell. I sort of, I'm I you, not hated, but I don't, I just feel like it's it's outdated uh -huh. and it's not done the way it needs to be done. Uh -huh. And bad experiences in many years. So I think Trasso is getting slowly but surely out of line. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do understand it's a price cap and all of this works for people and no one has always the funds to do Nuda. Yeah. But in the, long term, in the long term, I think it works really well yeah. for something like this. I think it will be stay longer. No, long no, lasting. I can guarantee for you X2 exterior, even without coating, um, at the moment, one and a half years, even with rain, with weather, with Bali. Because remember, where is Bali? Bali is Bali directly is, in the yeah. equator. They say like Bali have like four sun. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it changed color. It changed and color, right? So far, if you, I, if you see the project now, it's still the same as uh -huh. the day I did it. Yeah. It's incredible. And wow. for me, that's the thing. Yes, X1 is not so strong as X2, and I do 100% do agree with that. Mm -hmm. The only, cons only, only downfall of X2 is it's very hard to applicate. X2 because, is yes, very hard, hard to, to applicate. applicate because it has a lot of sand ah, or small yeah, particles. Yeah. They have a special secret too. Correct. There we go. <laughs> the secret that we all call. Like I so, have my secret, so you have your secret. So, <laughs> so um, yeah. But I think you almost opened, I think, half of your secret. No, no, no. But it's my okay, right? Oh, it's, it's more complicated. <laughs> it's yeah, more this complicated secret, yeah? than that. Okay. So, Marco, uh, using Demix Nuda, uh, what project that you really satisfy with it? To be honest, the one project that I really admire and think mm -hmm. it's an amazing project is of course our office because mm -hmm. it shows and we can show our clients what yeah. we do as a, yeah. because a lot yeah. of people comes in and to be mm -hmm. honest, um, a lot of people, the first thing they do is touch the walls. The first yeah. thing everyone does is come and touch the walls and say, 
how did you do this? Mm -hmm. This is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. how how did you get this? What product is this? What is this? How you do it? Yeah. Um, this is the first thing. And then of course there's many projects that I'm very proud of, and uh, definitely feel like my swimming pool projects. I think it's on the top there because this the, is the masculine black. Masculine black, yes, I know. Uh -huh. But for me, more more or less the glass pools because mm -hmm. we glass took the pool. yeah because we took the product not just on the wall but mm -hmm. into the glass. So mm -hmm. we're touching the glass itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as we, if you aware of how construction work, cement and glass doesn't mix. Mm. So it will always crack and cement always have, and glass doesn't like to be together. Yeah, they will always crack or they will always uh -huh. delaminate uh -huh. or everything. Uh -huh. But we find a method and a way to do it that we will. That we have perfect joints and no cracks and no mm -hmm. no no problems with the product uh -huh. and yeah so I think my favorite is project if I don't look at my our office I will say our pool projects and that we do on a consistent basis on that so, on that glass pool you uh, you apply the demix nuda on correct. on the glass on the, itself on the glass and yes on the glass so, as well wow. so I'll give you an example we had a project where they used metal joints for the glass. And then to make it look more sexier or mm -hmm. more beautiful, mm -hmm. we seal all the glass with the steel, mm -hmm. with um, nuda and mm -hmm. an X shape. So it looks like the pool has just pieces of glass into the pool with cement concrete bases mm -hmm. like this. And until now, there's no issues and there's no problems yeah. and it still looks yeah. incredible. You know, so. um, actually Demix Nuda can be applied on the surface of the ceramic style. Correct. But today I just know that you apply it on the surface of glass. Yeah, but there is another secret to that. Another right? secret. Another <laughs> secret for me and another secret for you, right? <laughs> so, this, this but yeah, amazing. but that's, that's what we're trying to do is taking yeah. the product to crazy heights. Uh -huh. And I think there is more to the product than people really know. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, uh, my favorite is X1 mm -hmm. because it's easier to applicate and it looks great. Yeah. But what is the next step for us is to make X2 rough. Rough, rough finishing. Oh, have you finished? Have you seen the rough finish of yeah. our X2? Yes. Oh, have you tried? I sprayed it. It was me. Oh. I was the one who sprayed it the first okay. on the sampling. Hmm. Mm. So I need yeah. to go there. Please. Yes. So, but we do it rough. So, uh, what? Which one you're talking about? This texture. Mm -hmm. What we will do is people now in today's time they like to have it where you just use. Uh, a, a truffle and you just rub mm -hmm. it like this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it becomes sort of uh, empty on the on some certain areas uh -huh. so it looks like it's rough 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 uh -huh. not sprayed with a with mm -hmm. a gun mm -hmm. so that is the next step and we will do it in a big project where we will do only rough like this mm -hmm. and this will be with x2 and we will add our colors wow i'm i'm very excited yes. and then do i would like to see the project itself yeah because Usually in here, you only apply the Nuda X series in uh, the smooth. Yes, correct. Smooth finish, so right? also we tested the product, and I uh -huh. believe you guys did it as well. I saw your videos online where you spray the product, uh -huh. um, and we do the same, and we did the same big, uh, big finishings and small and all of this. We did the test all already, uh -huh. um, and it it works, and it's yeah. actually harder than. Uh, making it away the traditional way, if I can say mm -hmm. like this, and it really works well, and I think. There's a potential for it, yeah. and yeah, it's just the point of there's another method to it to make mm -hmm. it more better than what they normally traditional way. Yeah. Do. So thank you so much, Marco, no for worries. your time and then your sharing about our product. No worries. I just curious, uh, have you ever think about what nuda means? No. Really? No. <laughs> you want to guess? Please. No, I don't want to guess. <laughs> you don't want to guess? Because I will think something that's not. You right. know what is nude? Yes. It's come from nude. So if the wall is uh, already great, you don't need to apply anything. Oh, so just okay. just show it. Oh, okay. So it's so, basically adding. So a... X series means to expose. Oh. X series nuda is means for nude. Okay. So it's bare bare wall. Bare, so bare you don't wall, need yeah. to apply like a, 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 a paint coating or, or something. Yes. Oh, you don't know. This is my secret. That's your secret. <laughs> my secret. <laughs> But anyway, your product is for that. Uh, the product is a great, and I yeah. think there is big potentials um, as, as as an architect firm mm -hmm. and as uh, a companies that we recommend our products to be mm -hmm. used or the Nuda to be used for. I think there is a big market for it, and I think it's changing mm -hmm. uh, as the time goes. And I think people are getting more used to better quality products mm -hmm. uh, because 
your product is on the top. It's an exclusive product. Not everyone will do it. Yeah. So I think the market has changed and I think the market is getting there. Mm -hmm. And um, we doing it as the way we do it. I think we expose a lot of things and people like, this can be done. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we will just see how the future go. But with us, I mean, Nuda is our number one recommended product. Thank you and so much. Yeah, we just <laughs> go ahead and do it the way we do it. And yeah. we're going to do more crazier things in yeah, the years to yeah. come. And we're going to do more bigger projects and more bigger things and just make it, yeah, just work. Yeah. So. You know, we mix it. You have um, um, international uh, future on the design and then how to construct, yes, how right. to make it. And then we also a local product. Indonesian local product, but we also uh, very passionate about uh, the the quality, the premium quality. Yes, for so sure. that's why we ha we need to collaborate more. Yeah. Yeah. So, and also the nice thing is mm -hmm. is that it's based in Indonesian, mm -hmm. and you can sell it as an Indonesian product because mm -hmm. a lot of people think these things are imported, mm -hmm. and imported cost, of course, everyone knows yeah, that it is a little it's bit more expensive. more on the transportation. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. Thing. So yeah. for us, the nice thing is to say this is an Indonesian-based product. Yeah. It's always a good thing to say that. And then people are like, oh, Indonesia have this? It's quite a, <laughs> quite a shock, actually. I think not, not all the Indonesian product can do that. that correct. Same correct. as you. Correct. Not yeah. all can do what you do. <laughs> yeah. so, so only the one who want to focus and explore more and more, yes, I think. Yeah. Sure. yeah. I think that's all for today. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Too nice to have a nice talking with you. No worries. So, Grazy Marco. <laughs> thank you, guys. And thank you for your time. And it was Thank lovely. you so much thank for you inviting. So, so you're much. waiting for your future, the texture, the, the spray that yes, no you mentioned we will, before, right? We will do the crazy thing soon. Yeah. No thank you so much. Thank have, you so much. A, uh, have a success in Indonesia to do more, more, more projects. Yeah? I appreciate it. We thank will you. surely recommend you also. LS Design, right? <laughs> yes, I appreciate it. <laughs> Oke, okay, demikian acara Demix Talk episode kali ini, live from Ubud, Bali. Uh, nantikan uh, episode-episode Demix yang selanjutnya, yang tidak kalah menarik. Um, untuk informasi lebih lanjut, bisa cek Instagram kita, at Demix Indonesia, dan juga YouTube, at Demix Indonesia, juga bisa menghubungi call center melalui email, di CS at demix.co.id dan juga nomor telepon 0811-193-9900 kita kembali ke Marco untuk belajar lagi ya tentang yeah, yeah. salam demix merekat kuat merekat okay. kuat oke okay. okay. one more ya okay. salam demix merekat, merekat kuat, kuat. bye, bye.